So, you got some big old telephone poles lying around that you want to use in some practical way, and your Kubota L-Series tractor is just dying to get working on some fun project this Saturday. There's only one solution. Let's beef up our gate posts. Hi, I'm Arfie Bear. And let's not kid ourselves, this project is kind of ambitious, especially when the end product you have in mind is this. I don't think I'll make it that far, but for a half day's work, I can still get it looking pretty cool. So let's get started. Before, on this gate, we had eight foot long four x fours in the ground that it was attached to. Boring. It's time to remove them and use a post hole digger to dig a hole big enough for these poles. Now these telephone poles are 12 inches in diameter which is a significant masculine improvement, I might add. But it still takes time to dig these holes, and be careful, make sure that nothing falls in there. Oh, I'm aiming for four foot deep holes here. However, I gotta be honest with you, I did make a mistake here, but it didn't show up until later, so stay tuned to what it was so you don't do the same thing. I want these poles to be about 10 feet out of the ground, so I'm cutting them about 14 foot long with my still MS-250. Afterwards, I gotta figure out some way to make it so the forks of my Kubota are able to lift up this pole. You see, it's a little bit tricky because the tractor has two forks on it like this, and it's gonna come in, and it can't really pick up the pole easily like that. If you try to come at it at the side, yeah, you can pick it up, but once you get it up high, it's gonna make the tractor kind of unbalanced. And I've just decided that it is not worth my tractor falling over for your YouTube entertainment. So instead what we're going to do is take a plank and we're going to screw it onto the pole making kind of like this big T-shape or as my neighbors call it, honey phone the police because our neighbors are doing a doing a do do it looks like our neighbors are doing a crucifixion. <laughs> After dropping off the pole in front of the hole and lining it up just right, I used the forks to lift up the pole by grabbing onto the plank. By the way, I know you can't wait to do something fun and semi-dangerous with your tractor like this, so to show appreciation for the sport of YouTube, please smash that thumbs up button like you're coming down with a front end loader. Now this was the first time I had installed poles like this, so it was a little bit of a nervous affair, especially since I was doing this while my other hand was holding onto a camera. You can see though that when doing this method to install both poles, the pole slides up to the hole, and then you lift your front end loader up to where it needs to be so that it will drop in. And fortunately it did, but this is where I realized my mistake. After measuring the height of the pole, I realized that I had pushed in about a cubic foot of dirt into the hole while I was trying to drop the pole into the hole as well. It only dropped in about three feet instead of the four feet I wanted. So if you want your hole to be about four feet deep, dig a five foot hole. But I tested the integrity of the pole and after realizing it was sturdy enough, that is until the next hurricane comes, I continued forward. Using a level, I leveled it up and added a lot of crushed rock and cement to the sides of it to stiffen it up. I didn't go nowhere. And thank goodness, because I don't think I could get it back out if I tried. So now, what have I added to my front gate? Definitely class. If I'm able to, I'll get around to installing that sign on the top that looks like the entry in the Jurassic Park with a couple of torches. So stay tuned, you beautiful people. Hey, YouTuber! Did you enjoy this video? Well, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Check! And if you're feeling especially giving, make sure to share it with a friend. Leave a comment below and subscribe. Check, check, check. And lastly, make sure to mail a check for $1,000 to 106 A Broadway, Huntsville, Louisiana, 46582. Huh? Shh, quiet. Let's see if they do it.